What's up, everybody? This is uh, the professor, and we got the humorous that we're talking about today. Interesting enough, this is a left humorous. Didn't think I was going to get one of these. The reason why is because it's so hard to find these bones in the lab. So this is a left scapula, and this would be your left humerus, and you can see how the left humerus actually articulates with left scapula. There's several different details that you have to know on the humerus. Uh, here are just a few basic ones, like for example, this bald portion here, or the ball of the ball and socket joint is known as the head. And then you got this weird thing here, which is going to be my uh, lesser tubercle and this large one on the side is my greater tubercle. Now these are important because you actually have tendons from other muscles that attach to these tubercles and they're responsible for helping you rotate your arm and flex your arm and extend your arm so you don't want to forget these lesser tubercle, greater tubercle and then this little groove in between the two tubercles is known as the intertubercular groove. And there's actually a, a tendon that runs through this groove from your bicep and it goes on up to attach to your scapula. Move further down and you'll see this little enlargement or thickening here on the bone. This is actually known as your deltoid tuberosity and yeah you guessed it, your deltoid actually attaches to that location. You move further down to this end of the humerus, and you've got some weird stuff going on. You got this little thread pool looking thing, or thread spool looking thing, which is the trochlea. Trochlea looks like a bow tie. There's the capitulum. Some people call it the capitulum, some people call it the capitulum. Hey, tomatoes, tomatoes, whichever one floats your boat. Now, it's a lot easier to remember the capitulum and the trochlea if you take the head of a radius and you'll see where the head of the radius actually inserts and articulates with the capitulum or if you take your friend the ulna and you can see where the ulna articulates with the humerus there at the trochlea so the trochlea inserts into the trochlear notch of the ulna and that's what allows you to flex and extend your elbow You've got the epicondyles located on both sides. You got to remember this is the anterior view of the humerus. So that means that this is going to be my lateral epicondyle and that's going to be my medial epicondyle. And then last but not least, if we flip this over, this big hole here is going to be the olecranal fossa where the olecranon some people call it the olecranon, uh, some people call it the olecranon, once again tomatoes, tomatoes, that inserts into that fossa, just as so. And that's a quick update of the humerus.